hair with some animal skins in it and what seems to be a few bone wolves excellent that's good training for us just make sure there aren't any big things in the way but yes earlier I mentioned how we were supposed to um, live as nomads for a while um, actually should I, should I fight them now no I'm gonna I'm just gonna bring them in actually bring in the money we have a quite a nice quite a nice amount of money here on us in bounty so so yeah we're gonna live as um, nomads for a while just um, building a makeshift base whenever whenever we need to oh, actually they want to fight us so I guess we can fight them then Let's, uh, we can keep carrying the skeletons it's gonna add some extra strength and stuff so it doesn't matter I'm not too worried about this um, so yeah we're gonna erect a base whenever we want whenever we need to so I think we should just head over to that city hand in these bounties and then we'll start to patrol this area and see if we can find ourselves some thralls to uh, fight so we can uh, get a few more recruits although having said that in order for us to be able to acquire recruits we need to research the prisoner technology uh, so we can build slave poles in the field and um, cages so perhaps what is this nothing so um, yeah I guess it would make more sense grabbing what happened here oh he was shot in the back by circuit oh. Circuit, buddy. <laughs> yeah, so here, here you can see when they are repairing them. So the chest was down to uh, 20, something like that. And now you can see here it heals up, and then they keep heal, they keep repairing him, and this is gonna go all the way up to 120 once again. So yeah, this is one of the benefits of having the robotic animals with you. Of course, it can be a costly business as well. Uh, you have the skeleton repair kits that are much more efficient, costing 5,000. And uh, mostly you find these ones, the so-called authentic skeleton repair kit, even though it's not really authentic at all. It's made by the Western Hives and not by skeletons. By the way, I think we have a weapon that we can change. This is a blunt weapon class, and I think Sad Neil. What is this? this that's a hacker. Um, I think one of you can improve your weapon. Yeah, the giant mace, heavy weapon class. And uh, blunt. Okay, so he doesn't actually gain. He doesn't level blunt faster than heavy weapons. All right, but you do actually have. Um, this is also a blunt weapon. A heavy weapon class. Do we have anything better than that? Uh, let's take a look. So I should just have you trade. No, not you. Let's have you trade with him. All right. 1.73 uh, with the heavy weapons actually maybe hmm because we have a bunch of people using blunt weapons and one hacker that is the weapon hacker not the technology hacker do you get any debuff I think it's katanas right Actually, you do not get a debuff on katanas. All right, most of these or some of these uh, skeleton varieties gets a penalty on learning katanas for some reason. In that case, this is a model cartoon number three. You don't really have. Actually, you could probably use a pole arm. Do we have any pole arms? 
Uh, that's also actually that's also another heavy weapon class weapon. Hmm. So okay, let's do this. Uh, uh, can I do this? Um, can I fit this? Maybe. Yes. No. Yes. Right, if I move this and this, I'm moving these, and there you go. Bam. Okay. So you um, grab the heavy weapon one. Ooh, we have a plank here. Also heavy weapon. Actually, good. Mm. Any, anything better? Pole arm. Heavy weapon number two. Saber heavy. Mark three. So let's see. This does. Oh, the game is playing, buddy. Uh, 1.16, 1.24, and this is doing 1.44. One is six indoors penalty. This gives you a lot of attack and bonus, attack and defense bonus penalty. So I think you should use this one. Let's go ahead and grab the plank there. That's gonna be awesome. Although we are actually. We are looking to fight mostly you or robots, so maybe he should get this. This is a blunt weapon class, but it adds a bonus to robots and humans. So I think that's makes that's better. We're gonna meet a bunch of hungry bandits, etc. Over here you have a blunt weapon class as well. I think that's not too bad. You know, it's gonna level faster. Both of the weapons are the same class. You have a heavy weapon class weapon? Heavy weapon class weapon. That was a mouthful. You don't have any uh, side arm. I'm not gonna give him a katana. Maybe he should actually grab a pole arm. Who has the lowest stats in uh, heavy weapons or in blunt? 13, 19. Oh, let's just uh, do it like this instead. Alright, uh, minus two. That's not good. One, six. Alright, we are using two blunt weapons. Seven. And you, you, actually, you have. Uh, you're the ranged one right away. Right, right, right. You have the heavy weapon and you're up to 13. Ooh. So who is lowest? Um, hmm. Maybe I should remove the hacker one. You're up to 11 though, so not too bad. Maybe I should remove Halbert. Yeah, he, he only has 9. So even though he has minus 2... No, wait. He actually gets a bonus to learning he heavy weapons. Uh, you do not get that, so I'm going to give it to Skinner then. Skinner... Skinner! Go ahead and trade with Foxtrot. You will be given a pole arm. Because that's gonna be awesome versus animals. How about a trident? Yes. There you go, and uh, wow, now we wait. Now we drop something on the ground there. Can we? Yes, like that. Oh, there's a blue ninja mask. Interesting. We should probably equip our guys with these, even though it's gonna look a bit weird on uh, skeletons. We have a mod that uh, opens up. The armor slots for um, skeletons to make them less awful versus um, or in the late game anyway when everyone else has armor and they don't I guess the uh, hives do still have armor but okay, so this would give you protection against actually 4% uh, how does this look yeah, I might, I might actually disable that mod. It looks... You know, we can't see it now, but you can see it down here. It looks a bit strange. For, with, with certain items. It looks great with hats and stuff. With hats. 
like the rice hat it looks amazing but yeah i'm just gonna in for the sake of um, immersion i'm not gonna equi equip hats that looks stupid okay are we good to go i believe so i guess we have wasted way too much time here how about we just get on with it Let's keep on going. Very epic music for just uh, walking around in the desert, but there you go. Let's see, we're gonna head all the way over there. It's gonna take us forever to get there. But such is the curse of being skeletons. Actually, it's rather the curse of having skeleton animals. Actually, having said that, we could probably do it like this then. If we drop everyone, if we drop the animals, because we can take this as a good advantage or a good a good time to practice stealth, because these guys can be able to move three miles per hour, and that is the same amount of miles per hour that they can sneak. So it doesn't make any difference for them. Sneaking or not. Whoa, what's going on here? Uh, oh, it's the nomads again. So right here now you can see their movement speed like this and then we sneak and it doesn't actually change so Currently we move the same pace sneaking or not. So yeah, we might as well sneak um, Practicing sneaking uh, we do get a racial penalty on learning sneaking because you know we are clunky robots so mm. that's a thing that is a thing I think I also forgot to put the timer on my healthy bot actually I'm using a bot to remind myself that hey you actually have to drink water and stuff I tend to get slightly lost and when I'm streaming losing track of time and space so uh, let's go ahead and turn that on one moment and we will shall do so SHB time excellent so SHB time. I can't even pronounce uh, letters any anymore. SHB time. Uh, one. There we go. Excellent. And uh, good. So I'm gonna take this. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, no, Matt. Don't mind. I'm gonna take this time and also grab myself some water so we'll keep. Watching these guys slowly creep through the desert. Alright. And someone can see us. And it's the nomads. No shocker no shocker really we are in the open <laughs> so something that had become quite uh, something that i become aware of is oh blood oh wait those are blood rays there's we are not gonna mess with them something that uh, that what's uh, become appear, uh, apparent to me early on is when you're playing as a skeletons like like we are here and you're using these animals, the robot ones, the robot spiders that you buy, not the ones you can capture through uh, Tame Beastie mod. This, this, what you see here, this is life. This will be your life until you, um, oh, grass pirates, uh, once you're able to uh, increase um or what rather i should say once they um, grow up so you know until they grow up they're gonna walk like this at this pace all the time and 
mind you, this is... Whoa, 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 whoa. Getting some lag here as it loads in. Uh, mind you... Oh, now they can see us. Not good. Uh, not good. Not good. Uh, we're gonna start running now. So. Uh, grab... Grab. Grab. Who is carrying the? Who is carrying the? Uh, Freaking. Wait, zero. Who are you carrying? You knew you should not carry anyone. I just need to make sure we don't drop the prisoners here. Okay, so you guys are carrying the prisoner. Where's the third one? Is he underneath there somewhere? I can't. I don't think so. I think that may be it. I think so. I don't think we can beat these guys. These are... Yeah, they have much better stance than we do. They may have less... They may have less... Um, actually... Maybe not, actually. Let's take a, actually, let's take a look here. Let's, let's evaluate our opposition here. So how many are there to start with? There is... Four or five... Uh, about 10 or so okay and uh, so we there's there's more of us these guys can do some damage but they also die quite easily uh, stats wise they are hungry so they will get a stat penalty of 0 0.87 lowering their attack strength and dexterity Although their defense values are much, much higher than ours. Actually, maybe not. Oh yeah, okay, ours come from some equipment as well. Wait, how do you... How much do you have, actually? Oh my god, you have 22! Holy crap, well, ignore ig ignore what I'm saying. We can totally beat these guys. Alright, we're gonna fight them then. We can totally beat them. Um... Also, once, once we get into town, we're gonna have to buy some shackles because in this in these situations, I would prefer to uh, drop our prisoners and you know fight, but then they're just gonna run away. So I would prefer to have some um, shackles on them so they can't just you know they're gonna be speed impaired. Okay, so let's see. You have a prisoner, and Edward, you have a prisoner, correct? Yes, okay. The other one, uh, the other ones, maybe I should just do it like this instead. Yeah, I should do it like this. There we go. Oh, moving too fast. Good, so now we have, oh, here we have only the uh, spiders. All right, so, okay. Uh, wait, there. Oh, it's actually only, oh, only one of them is being carried. Oh, I'm being dumb, never mind. I'm being super dumb. Just one of them is being carried. Who's carrying him? Skinner, okay. I don't know what I'm thinking about. That was really dumb. There's Skinner. Put him down. Okay, so we are gonna get into position. Now, flick circuit. Do you have enough? Yes. So you're gonna use a spring bat. I would love to return to um, the Black Desert City and buy a masterwork um what's it called the cross something like that it's a fantastic sniping crossbow it's awesome um okay so let's see yes um you're there the rest of you guys just uh, move on up we're gonna maybe have our actual the skeletons move up first because they have better uh, defensive values than the spiders or at least they have more hit points so they can take a beating. Are you still carrying? Oh, Roy! We forgot about Roy. I'm sorry, Roy. Forgot about you. Alright. Let's go, boys! And actually, boys, girls, robots. I don't know actually what gender you have. Even if you even have genders. I don't know. But here we go. Let's fight. Uh, you can shoot this guy. This guy seems to be running for you. So how about you shoot him in the face? See how much damage you do. And... 
Boom. 91. Look at that. Whoa. One hit. Almost down. Excellent. 